how to add a product to your Shopify store. Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to add your first product to your Shopify store. Whether you're just starting out or looking to expand your online store, this video is your step-by-step -step guide to seamlessly adding new products to your Shopify storefront. We'll cover everything from basics to product creation, including descriptions and images, to setting up pricing and inventory management. Plus, we will share some tips on optimizing your product pages for better visibility and sales. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have all the tools you need to effectively showcase your product and enhance your online business. So if you haven't signed up already, I'll leave a link to Shopify in the description down below. This link will bring you to a sign up page where you can create an account and get an exclusive deal plus insane bonuses, but more on that later. All right, so once you're logged onto Shopify and you're in your dashboard, go to product on the top right. Once you do that, you're going to click on add product. And the most important thing at this point is adding your product title. This will be the name of your product. So for this example, I'll be selling a striped button up t-shirt. So let's say that is my product. I want to make sure to add the relevant keywords to our product title. If you're not familiar with this, I'll leave a link to my full Shopify SEO tutorial in the description box down below that can help you in getting started. So for us, let's say it is a blue striped button down like this. Now, once we have inserted our product title, we're going to add a description to our product. For this, you can have a different approach depending on your industry, but the key to making a good description is to include the material that is used in making the product, what is included, such as additional add-ons like an extra belt or an extra accessory, then different sizes, benefits, and uses, and most importantly, your unique selling point or USB, which is called your unique selling benefit. So make sure to really think about that when you're going to put it in your product description and if you can't think of writing anything just yet you can use shopify's ai assistant over here you can click on the sparkly button and add your basic information that you want in your description to be displayed over here so for this i'm going to write organic 100 percent cotton blue and white oversized striped button down shirt it's unisex and then let's also add such a but benefits such as benefits include looking slimmer wearing casual casual and business wear easily converts from day to night and then for our usb or our unique selling point i will add um something along the lines of recycled cotton like this and now i will click on generate over here now instead of me having to think about this i can add this description which has used the information that i provided and converted it into a cohesive paragraph now once we've done that the next step is to add your media so you really need to highlight your product here and don't be shy with the number of images that you will add here, especially if you have multiple designs, materials, styles, cuts, and more. Your customers would want to see different pictures of your products. So to make a decision, your customers want multiple different angles and multiple different POVs. Also, thankfully, Shopify has a gallery of over 20,000 stock images that you can use so you have an idea of what type of product images you should be inserting. Your media needs to look professional, represent your brand voice, and make sure it looks nice for your product now we're just going to upload our own image like so and i'll add multiple different images like this and just click on open you will see shopify has the ability to add 11 to 12 images for each individual product and i just added multiple products i only want to keep product images of one product so i'll just be adding these four images which are pretty nice images that show the product in full form 
Now, once you have inserted your media, scroll down and you will be led to your pricing section. Now, this is a very crucial step for sellers on Shopify. If you haven't formed an exact pricing for your products just yet, I recommend looking at your competitor's product pages on their storefront and see how they are actually charging for similar products. This allows you to have an idea on what amount people are willing to pay for a product like yours. With this, you can also keep in mind how your customers will value your product. And then if you want to offer free shipping in the future, also consider how this will affect your pricing. Now, simply insert your price in the price section. Then you also have a compare at price. This is going to be usually a higher price that is used to make it seem as if your product has been marked down. Below that, you can also choose to add tax to this product. Then you have the cost per item section. This section won't show up in your store. However, you can type in the cost of your product minus your profit and you will see your total profit and then the profit margins that you have. Moving on to the cost per item section. This section will show up in your store. However, you can type in your cost for your product. Then it will display your profit and your profit margins. And if you see that maybe your profit margins are too less to make it profitable for you to ship this product, you can also adjust your pricing accordingly. This is going to help you in seeing your profit and the profit margins for your store. Again, this won't be visible in your storefront and is going to just help you in making sure you're making the profit margins as you want. Now, moving on to the inventory settings. You can go on ahead and toggle track quantity over here. If you want Shopify to keep track of the amount of stock you have for each product on your store. Now, once you turn this on, you will see different locations that you might have inserted in your Shopify store. Not only does this allow you to sort your inventory, but it also lets customers know how much you have in store. So if you enable this feature, each time you make a sale, Shopify automatically decreases the amount displayed in your store. So set this as the number of products you have in store. Then below that, you can also check the continue selling when out of stock button. This allows you to sell products even when you have stock run out, but more is going to be available soon, but you have just failed or don't have the time to edit it out. It's important so that Shopify doesn't and display your product as out of stock. And if you have a SKU for your product, check this box right here and enter information over here. Now that we're moving forward, we're going to sort out the shipping of our product. If you're selling a physical product, you want to ship the product to your consumers. And for that, you can type in the weight and change the measurement units right here. Now, tick this box if you are going to be shipping your product internationally. You can see the country of origin and the harmonized system code of your product. And if you're selling a digital product or service, you can simply check out this option and you're going to be able to set up for digital products or services. Now, moving on to variants. If your product has multiple variants, such as sizes, colors, or other features, if you're selling clothes, here is where you can add sizing variants. Only make sure that you label all of your variants uniformed. So if your sizes are named SML for small, medium, large, then keep it that way for all of your products so that it can help users in seemingly filtering out your product accordingly. So we're going to set in our option values for our sizes such as S, M, and L. Now, once we've done that, we can just click on done over here. Once you do that, you can also set in particular images for each individual size. If you have multiple different models that are uh, wearing your product in multiple different sizes, you can add the particular model in that particular variant size. Plus, you can also set individual prices for each variant right here, as well as available stock quantities. So if we have more units available in medium, we can add more in this and more in large. Now, what is this section over here? Well, this is your search engine listing preview. 
we're on our final step over here where we're going to see how our product is going to look like on search engines who are going to be searching on Google. As you can see, here's your title and description. And as of now, it really looks a bit plain and doesn't speak for the brand. So what you're going to do is you're going to add your website name, product title, and relevant keywords to rank higher in search results. You can click on edit over here. Once you do that, you're going to get a preview of your listing as you are editing. And what we're going to do is first off, instead of just blue button down stripe, we're going to add our brand name, which is Meraki, blouses, blue stripe button down shirt. And then below that, we might want to add something else to our meta description as well, such as handmade quality products. And then after that, I might also want to highlight organic cotton over here like this. Now, this makes sure that information about our product stands out to the visitors. Now, below that, you will also see your URL handle. And in your URL handle, if it is too long, it can seem to be a bit of a drag. So instead of adding blue stripe down button, I just want to add um, maybe something along the lines of button down shirt. I think that looks a bit better. And then once I've done that, I will click on save on the bottom right and our product listing already looks a bit better. And you can further optimize this by adding more keywords in your search engine listings, meta descriptions, and Shopify. Now, once we've done that, we are going to click on save. And now that our product is saved, scroll to the top of your product and you will see your status of the product. Click on active over here and then save your product. And if your product is already set as active, just click on save once more and then exit back into your product section. And there you have it. Our listing is complete and we are done with our product on Shopify. That wraps up our guide on how to add a product to your Shopify store. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and feel confident in managing and expanding your product offerings. Remember, the key to success in e-commerce is not just adding products, but continuously optimizing your store and engaging with your customers. And that's all everyone. I hope this guide was helpful to you. Once again, I'll leave a link to Shopify down below so that you guys can get the most insane discounts and bonuses. Make sure you go on ahead and leave a like and then I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day ahead.